What's up, guys? I'm Youngster Skateboard, and I'm here with a brand new Let's Play Shovel Knight New Game Plus, which is not the regular game of Shovel Knight. One sec. Uh, it is basically this game's hard mode. So if you watched me do Kirby's Dream Land, if you watched that playthrough, I did the regular games because it was short, but I also did the hard mode. Uh, I got Shovel Knight a few days ago. I decided not to do a Let's Play of it for I don't know why. I regret not doing a Let's Play of it. Beat it. Loved it. Want to keep playing it. Thankfully, they have New Game Plus, which is a hard mode, like I said. So I'm deciding to do a Let's Play of New Game Plus, which is... I don't know why I keep repeating this, but yeah, it's the hard mode for Shovel Knight. Uh, sorry, one sec. I'm OCD about my mic. That is what we're going to be playing today. Shovel Knight's extra, uh, New Game Plus. So, one thing I like about Shovel Knight is you don't need to, like, 100% collect everything in regular mode, then do hard mode, and 100% collect everything in hard mode if you want to, like, complete, complete everything. Because when you start hard mode, you keep all of your magic upgrades, your health upgrades, your uh, relics. What the heck is wrong with my mic? Uh, all that stuff. You keep all that stuff. So, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really OCD about my mic, so whenever I start a video, I always like keep meddling with it. Anyway, let's just get right into this. Like, if you see, there's feats. Like, I already have like some of the feats. But, like... Yeah, you can change the controls in this game, which is one thing I really like, because I did change the controls for my liking. See, this is me, and also there's items in this game called relics on the right. You can see those. I have all of those. I have all the relics, but I don't have all the music notes, which you see those, which you can sell. Uh, I don't have all the shovel upgrades, which are on the bottom, or all the gear, which is on the bottom left. So I'm going to be collecting those throughout the extra game, but most of the stuff I already have. So in this extra game, by the way, I copied my file over so I can do this. Uh, in this extra game, they let you keep the stuff from last time, so... Like, I'm gonna start the game with all the relics, and I'm gonna, instead of starting with 4 health, I'm gonna have my 10 health. But the difference in extra, in, or new game plus, it's called, I should call it, this isn't Kirby. The enemies hit twice as hard. That's, uh, why did I do that? Um, yeah, so the enemies hit twice as hard in this game, in, in new game plus. So, like, the first level will be easier, since I have 10 health instead of 4, but then when I get to, like, the last level, that's gonna be hard. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into this. Also, one thing about the relics. Because I only had a few of the relics by the time I finished the game, since I didn't use a guide or anything. So, a lot of the relics I haven't used very much, so I'm going to get to use them now in New Game Plus. One thing about New Game Plus is, uh, stupidly, well, not, I don't know. Like, once you start your file in New Game Plus, you can't, like, use your file again, so you should copy your file over in case you want to play it again. But, I'm just, like, meddling with my mic right now. Anyway, let's get started. New game plus. We're going to keep all our equipment as you see here. And we're just going to get right into this. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. By the way, the story in this game lies in the background, but... Like, all, uh, of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But the story, like, it's really good at the end and has some interesting, like, twists and stuff. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Now the tower is unsealed and, de ah. and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. I'm sorry guys, I'm so OCD on my mic. I don't know why I do this. So at the beginning of every level, they show like a shovel pun. Or whatever. This one's Strike the Urk. My favorite is uh, Sharpen Thy Shovel. Not really a pun, but... Anyway, yeah, this is a game. You can... From the beginning of the game, you can attack. And then you can do your down attack. But that's it. But since this is an extra game, we get all our relics. Uh, and also, the gear I'm wearing right now, like, the gear gives you, lets me bounce twice on someone's head. And then it charges up Special Shot. But I also can hit once and then use this, like, special thing. Uh, what else can I do? And I've got all my relics. The relics are like these little things you see on the top. You got that magic there. The relics use magic. Oops, I did not mean to do that, but... Uh, well, I guess I just showed what one of the relics was. That was probably the one, the relic I used most. 
my playthrough last time because I never got the flare wand, which you actually get the first in the in the game, but in this level. But I never got it. Or not this level, the next level. But anyway, let's, I'm just gonna use the flare wand, let's just go. Alright, uh Alright, my my mic is fine. I don't know why I keep worrying about it. So there's gonna be like dirt patches in this game and you can dig up those dirt and get gold, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about the life system in this game. Which revolves around gold, so when you die, you lose your gold, but you can get it again if you, like, get back to the place where you died. And also, the checkpoint system is really cool, where you can break your checkpoints. You get money, but then you can't use those checkpoints if you die, so... It's so, like, kind of, you have to choose. I usually didn't break the checkpoints, since the game was hard enough. It wasn't too hard, but it's difficult, and you're gonna die a lot, so... Broke the check if every time I broke the checkpoints, I'd usually get mad at myself because I'd end up having to go really back, like, and back check a lot. Oh, oops. I don't know why I did that. I thought I had, like, my special thing charged, my, like, thing. So, like, if I do this, then this is charged, but I move slowly. But if I bounce on someone's head twice, then I move regularly with it. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but I'm sure you'll find out, like, in the time to cut. Why did I do that? You'll find out what that means, what I'm talking about later on. Uh, so yeah, this game is a great game. Definitely pick it up. As you can see, by the way, I've lost one health when I get hit by one of those red things. They usually only deal half a health, of, half, half a hit point of damage, so. That's like, because new game plus. I think that's the only difference. I'm not sure, though. Other than, like, keeping all your relics. That was dumb. I don't know why I did that. Spikes are a one-shot kill in this game, so those are really annoying. Same with pitfalls. This guy's pretty cool. It's just this dragon. You gotta keep getting his head. If you get his body, it won't hurt him. They got these mini bosses in like all the stages, which I. Why did I do that? Which I really like. I really like like bosses, mini bosses. There's also these wandering, tra wandering travelers. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, I'll just do that. See, like, that item makes the game so much easier, but. And you get it in like the second level, but I never got it last time, so I. The Chaos Orb, which is this green thing. But it uses more magic, and it's, like, harder to hit people with. And there's also these little walls that, like, you could break. They're hidden. So you don't know, like, when there are one. Like, there could be one right here, and there could be some, like, chicken inside. Which shields you. Or, why'd I do that? I hate sometimes... Uh, one thing I don't like... See how that charges? One thing I don't like about this game is... If you, like, ground pound, like, twice in a row. Or, not ground pound. You don't... I don't know what it's called. But if you, like, do this... Like, you get locked into it, so, so instead of holding down, which is what, I'm doing I'm so bad right now, it's like, talking to you, I like, can't concentrate. Like, if you ground pound, like, twice in a row, then you're locked into it, and you have to, like, attack to get out of your ground pound, so there's situations where that can be really annoying. Anyway, I already got that music note, but whatever, I'll just recollect it. Well, you see these, these little sparkling spots? You can use your fishing rod there, which costs magic, but then you'll get some good fish. That one's a trout bowl, and he... If you have a chalice, which there's two of in the game, will bring you a gift, like some ichor. But I already, both of my chalices are full, so so he's got uh, nothing to give me. Anyway, we can just uh, get that gold and continue on with our adventure. I'm probably gonna forget to use a lot of my relics since like I haven't had most of them for a while, so. I'm so OCD, I've got to stop messing with my mic. I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, there's also, the, yeah, these ones are, some of the ones are on the wall. Boing, boing. So I had that, like, special attack. That's what this gear does. Normally, Shell Knight's blue, but, like, there's different armor, or gear. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's called armor. That, you change colors if you use it. Is there no checkpoints in the extra game? Because I haven't seen any check checkpoints. That would be brutal. I don't know if I'm going to... Is there no checkpoints? There must be no checkpoints. Oh my gosh. There's no checkpoints. This is gonna be brutal, especially considering I'm already on like low health. And I don't have the Ikor that heals you. Oh never mind, there's checkpoints. Maybe there's less. I think there's less checkpoints actually. Let's check. Since I just died, I since I just got a checkpoint, I can just kill myself. Because I can get that gold back since it's right there. Yeah, there's less checkpoints. There was four checkpoints last time I did this level. So yeah, that's one another difference, I guess. And uh see I got all my gold back, so it didn't matter. I guess that's another difference in New Game Plus and regular mode. There's le there's half the checkpoints, so that could be that could be pretty brutal in certain spots of the game. 
Uh, by the way, I'm doing like really bad right now. Like I don't, I don't know why I'm doing bad. It's just like probably because I'm not used to playing this game and talking. But I don't know. Um, I like these bubbles. These bubbles where you just like jump across. And by the way, you guys might not think this looks that challenging, but this is the first level, so I already have that one. But whatever. There's still 19 more of those I need to get. Those music notes, and you can sell them to this guy. Like if they're new ones that you don't already have, you can sell them to this guy. In uh, the first village, there's villages in this game, by the way. You can sell it to the guy in the first village for $500 each, and then he can play them to you. Like, whenever you want, so that's cool. Huh. And that flare wand is so overpowered. I just shoot anybody from as far away as I want. What is here? Oh, there's treasure in here. I remember last time I went up here, I'm like, hey, how do I get to that treasure chest? Then I went back down and came here. This game, man, it's just really, this is such a good game. I'm not going to spoil anything, because obviously I want you guys to watch this Let's Play, and not to know what's going to happen. But, literally, the credits had me clapping. Partially because of this, mostly because it's a spectacular game. And also, like, how it ended was just so, was just so, like, touching, like, uh, I'll talk all about that when we get to that in this playthrough. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I just walked off the ledge there. I am dumb. Anyway, guys, those of you who have been watching... Nope, don't do that again. Uh, those of you who have been watching my Bakugan playthrough, I'm not going to stop doing that. It's just going to... This is just going to go along with Bakugan. So, like, I'm going to... There's going to be an episode of this and, like, an episode of Bakugan. That's pretty much how I want it to work. Um, I already went over there, so no need to... I, I think the jewels, like, don't come back. I've got to... I'm not even, like... I'm being lazy. I've got to, like, be less lazy. Because this is, like, an early level, so I'm being lazy, but... Once we get to the harder levels... This is gonna, especially since this is a new game plus, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be tough. So I cannot be lazy. This is like one of my favorite songs of the whole game. I really like the song. Another song that I really like is Plague Knight. His, uh, his theme. No! Oh, I wanted to fish. I wasn't even paying attention to the stupid dragon. Oh my gosh. I feel like I feel like my mic isn't staying. It's really bothering me, but I know it doesn't matter. I know it doesn't matter. It just ugh. all right. So all the way back here. Why is the boss shows only six health in the boss area? Normally the bosses have ten health. Or at least I thought so. But like you know, on the top right, you see it, it shows the boss's health, even though there's no boss right now. I only chose six, which is weird, because, oh wait, this is the, oh yeah, never mind, this isn't, I was thinking of, uh, all the levels, okay, so you, you know the order of no quarter, or whatever, uh, every level, this is the first level, this one, like, doesn't count, but not, most, like, all the main levels after this one, you fight someone from that, and they have ten health, but I forgot, this isn't one of those, this is, like, the intro level, okay, I gotta, what am I doing, I gotta kill this guy, I cannot fish, I gotta kill this guy, don't fall, I fell on that cliff, because once you kill this guy, you can't, like, land on him again. So, like, yeah, like, I would fall on that cliff right after killing him. But, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, well, another thing about extra games, whenever you kill one of those mini-bosses, a bomb appears, which I forgot about until now. So, give me something good. These really aren't, yeah, like, that gives you some treasure. I feel like it should just heal you, not give you treasure, but... You can fish anywhere, but the sparkling spots, you just get better fish. So, uh gonna get that guy out of there, get him out of the equation. Let's see what other relics I have. I wanna show off some of the other relics, because I don't have I have all of them, but I barely use a lot of them, so like see how I had to slash to get out of that. This is called like the dust knuckles and you can like keep going through dirt like that, even if it's in the air. Boing. I I need to I always need to break all the dirt. It's like one thing I like to do in this game. I don't know why. So many of these guys. You know, I could do. I could. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Need to get to one. Okay, this, this is not working. I'm just wasting magic. Anyone here? Nope. And also, you can use gold to buy various things throughout the game, including most of the relics. Like, most of the relics you have to find. Well, there's no relic on this stage, because this stage is different from all the other stages, and the fact that it's a tutorial stage. 
Well, it's not a tutorial stage, but like, you know what I mean, it's the first stage. But, uh, like, you can use your gold to buy a lot of things, like armor, shovel upgrades, relics. But since I have all the relics, the only thing I'm going to be spending these on is the last shovel upgrade, which I don't have yet, and armor. So, once I get to the first village, there's not even going to be anything for me to buy, since I already have all the stuff you can get in the first village. Sorry about that, I just need to check something. Uh... Yeah. Here's the next checkpoint. By the way, since this is the first level, they don't let you break the checkpoints since it's the first level. So that's just something I thought I'd point out. And here's the- Oh, that's- I remember- I couldn't remember who the boss was in this- in this, uh, level. But anyway, this is Black Knight here. Um, we're gonna be seeing him a lot throughout the game. He's a very important character, but I'm not gonna spoil anything, so let's just, uh, read this. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate, which I guess is in the background. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. Dun, dun, dun. Just, so like, this is not gonna be hard. Cause you're not supposed to have this at this part in the game. So I'm just gonna stop using that. He only has two health left. This, uh, that's actually kinda disappointing. Cause this game was actually, I think I'm just gonna replay, like later on, I think I'm just gonna re replay through this game. I'm not, even, I'm not even trying to fight him right now, I'm just trying to talk to you guys. Replay through this game like in regular mode, cause this game is so fun. But like, like this boss fight was challenging when I was first here. But now I have 10 health, and so- Well, the health actually doesn't- isn't a part of it, since- He does double damage, but- Yeah, that was very easy. Pretty sure I lost on the- that, uh, the first try. My first time through the game. And there he goes. I am oh so deep out of my mic. And here we go, after every level, Shovel Knight goes to sleep, cause it's night time, you can't fight evil at night. Gotta, gotta get some rest. And then, sometimes, not always, sometimes he has these dreams. And this is Shield Knight. And we have to catch her. And this, these, these parts are always so touching, because it shows how Shovel Knight really, uh... How much Shovel Knight cares about Shield Knight and, like... It just, it reminds you why you're on this quest, which I like. Anyway, one of the one of the feats, one of the achievements or feats in this game, is uh, something that most people wouldn't think to do. They just run last long, but no, you gotta have some campfire safety. You gotta put out the fire, and then you get a feat called uh, like only you. But I already got that feat, so I'm not gonna get it again. I only discovered that because in the I was looking at the feats and it said like only you, uh, like have a sense of campfire safety. I'm like, what could that mean? So then I tried that out. Anyway. Um, just before this video ends, we're just gonna visit the village, and I'm gonna show you guys, uh, oh, uh, halt, no weapons, we have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, that's no weapons, just a shovel, you might enter then. Uh, press up to talk to everyone, and you can talk to a lot of people, and they say a lot of interesting things, but I don't, like, I, I, I don't really care, I already talked to them last time I played through the game, and there's nothing important, I'll talk to the ones that are important, and he says, yeah, he's lost all his music sheets, except somehow, he still has... 25 oh okay said he lost all his music sheets he still has 27 of them so I don't know what shovel knight he got those from I don't know if there was some shovel knight in like some regular game or something but uh yeah as you can see it showed the controls by the way it says like see what it says B to play Y to exit that's just like the controls I have because I have it B as jump and Y as attack right now this guy would sell you uh no he wouldn't sell you anything this guy would sell you meal tickets, and you could use them here to get meals. You could also get meal tickets other places. This guy... was not here last time. Oh, this guy's selling gear here, since, like, since you already- I guess, this you can normally only get in this- the gear you can only buy in the second village, but I guess it, he lets you buy it here in extra game, so this is what we're gonna spend our money on. Uh, I want to have this ornate plate, this flashy, acrobatic, useless plate, because otherwise, I think I like this one the best, but I need, I want I guess I'll buy these. Sacrifice some protection for higher magic limit and harvest magic from defeated foes. Drop half as much gold when you die in battle. Heavily plated, keep your footing, 
when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. I guess we'll just buy this one for now. Because I'm mean, we're gonna buy them all anyway, because I need to collect everything. Oh my gosh, we're Black Knight! Oh my gosh, that was totally worth it. We are Black Knight now. That is actually pretty sweet. See, like, it's slippery though. Like, watch, I try to turn. It's like, ugh. But you have less knockback, and it said heavily played it, so I don't know if we take less damage, but probably not. Try just less knockback, because that's what it, it specifically said, less knockback. I love this, we're Black Knight. Oh my gosh, Black Knight cosplay. Oh, this person dances after you beat Spectre Knight, who she hates. This guy... Like, does something for you after you beat King Knight. Uh, double trouble, blah blah blah. Oh, watch. Well, this is funny. This is a total time I've played in both, both, like, games. Thanks for you helping me, kindly witch. I'm not a witch. Yeah, I remember that. Wait, one sec. Alright, sorry about that. Um, let's just go talk to this dude right here. He's gonna play a mini game with us, or she. And if you can get more than 262 points, that's my high score, is 262. I'm pretty good at this game. You gotta aim for the 10. The 10s get you the most points. You gotta hit these things into the. You see my score on the top? You gotta hit these things into the. Like all those points. It's 1, 3, and 10, I think, that are worth each one. Like the green one. It's worth the least. I missed. Yeah, so I didn't even come close. Well, I did awful. Oh, yeah, I thought it was over. Okay, no. So I, I can still do good. You gotta try to hit him in the opposite direction, but sometimes it's hard to turn around. Oh, I missed that one. Those ones are the most important ones. I'm doing so bad. I was doing this mini game uh, earlier to try to like farm some gold. Then doesn't there's only no way to farm gold in this game. It's just play the game. But, I mean, there's plenty of gold, but uh, okay, I did awful there. 181. I mean, not bad, but yeah, she gives you some gold. She gives you a decent amount of gold. See, so if you do like really good, then you get a lot. We just want to explore the rest of this town before the episode's over. This is gonna be a pretty long episode since we're exploring the village. This guy says puns. Look at him. He's like, uh, using a shovel as a weapon. What a groundbreaking idea. Yeah, ha ha ha. He's a lot of uh, puns. This guy, uh, is obsessed with the Chapel King, who we met his little henchman this episode. We'll meet him probably next episode, though. The actual Chapel King. Maybe two episodes. This is Chester. He's the one who you find in all the places, and he, he found the relics before you in the treasure chest. You can buy them from him. And he's the one right here is where you get uh, this. Sorry. Uh, right here is where you get this. The, um, what's it called? The Chaos or something. Chaos Sphere. That's where you get that. And um, let's see, what else is there here? This this one refills your magic. I still, my magic meter. Oh, wait, is my magic meter max? Yeah, yeah my magic meter is max. It's at 100. Also, apparently, there's an armor that can, uh, that, like, that guy sells. That um can refill your magic a little bit more. I like a lot of these people. This this one, you have to jump on her to get up here, which you can get a music note. Or if you want to be cruel, you know, you can just uh sit on her for a very long time. And just let her walk around tired. And this she gets happy when you dig up the dirt because she's like, oh uh you're shovel knight, then dig up all this dirt for me. And this guy he's like uh wow Mr. Nice Stick, come on let's play. So then you gotta. Come take his ball away from him, be a cruel person. Steal that guy's ball. Aha! It's gone. Oh, darn it. Anyway, it's back. How'd I get here? There we go. Alright, anyway, that's enough of this town. There's nothing else really important. I don't think. What's this guy say? Many trials await you. Don't spare many. Each defeat strengthen your resolve. Anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching uh, the first part of Shovel Knight Extra, what's it called, New Game Plus. We're Black Knight now, that's pretty cool. Even though I like the other guard, what it actually does better. I just like being Black Knight, so that's cool. I guess throughout the game we're going to get some more armor. I'm going to show you guys what each one looks like. I don't know, because there's a guy also who sells you shovel upgrades in the same place with the armor guy, but I didn't see him, so I don't know. Maybe he's here and I just didn't look hard enough. Anyway, that's going to be the episode, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to stay tuned for part two. Uh, if you're into the Bakugan video game, go check that out on my channel. Um, new episodes, choose your character. It should be up soon. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're looking for, forward to Splatoon, I'm going to be coming that soon. Anyway, guys, 
thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.